Hey everybody, welcome back to the Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Ben. And today, is it a bourbon? It's, it's definitely a bourbon. We're drinking bourbon. All right, Ben, you know, I think for finishing out the final bottle of the year. Last for, review of the year. Let's go ahead and let's hit out of the park with one. We've got a banger here. This is BAM Maker's Mark Cellar Age 2023. And this actually comes to us from friend of the channel, Mike, Mikey Likey Whiskey. You may recognize that name from some of the live chats. Yep. So Mike, uh, this bottle so is one that I coveted all year long that I was super wanting to get my hands on, but of course, you I, know. I've never actually seen a bottle of it. I haven't either. And so, I have dangerously high expectations, yeah, or high hopes, I should say. that's my concern. I mean, I, I think people tend to like this bottle, mm -hmm. and it's not just a unicorn for unicorn's sake, but. Well, some of them get to be, though, and that's the thing, but yeah, I'm hoping yeah. this isn't. So some stats on this. Yeah. This is actually Maker's Mark, their first like kind of age stated, they tend to bottle when ready, which is usually yep. between five to seven years. Mm -hmm. There was a big uh, thing a while ago, Fred Minnick was on a panel with one of the guys from Maker's Mark and he had suggested, why don't you guys do an aged, you know, extra aged sure. bourbon? And the guy had actually brought a sample and he said, this is what happens when it's extra aged. We don't think people would like this. And Fred Minnick tasted it and he said it was phenomenal. And so all these years later, okay. They have the cellar age, and this is a blend of 11 and 12 year barrels. And this one actually comes in at 115.7 proof, which, which is maybe, higher than like their store picks and their, you know, the yeah. other kind of like special ones that they do. As makers mark go, they have a lower barrel, barrel entry proof. Yes. And so that's pretty high for them. They usually hang out around 110 to 112. Yep. Exactly. So let's get into the nose here. Oh. Wow, the first thing I got. Wow. Okay, so it's it's morphing. Morphing from what? From like a really nice, well aged cherry, like maturity. Mm -hmm. um, but then it turned into a little bit more of the um, almond shortbread cookie kind of. Yeah, which is a typical Maker's Mark note. It is that you and I tend to get off of Maker's products. It's got that quintessential Maker's vibe with a little extra like dark spice maybe to it. Yeah. It, it smells heavy, and I realize it it's not a good descriptor, but it really does. It, it, it feels it like it's thick. Yeah, exactly. Well, let's see if that uh, works on the palate. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, that's amazing. That's... Um, it still is. Like, yeah. It's going and going and yeah. going. Still long finish. Um, right off the bat, off of the first sip, it has everything. Well, just like I said on the nose, it has the quintessential Maker's Mark vibe. Yep. But it has an extra spice to it. And it's not a spice kind of like the 46 has a little extra spice because of the wood staves. It's, I mean, it's obviously just a well aged so this barrel is, spice. Really, is this cast strength Maker's Mark that's been extra aged? Yes. You know, and, and I actually had to pour that. Yesterday, yeah. The yesterday. regular Maker's Cast Ring, yeah. fantastic. Which, which is bourbon. fantastic, by the way. Yeah, this one just has a really interesting oak spice to it mm -hmm. that's different from the wood finishing series. You know, because those are different <coughs> toast levels, different kinds of wood, and they yep. insert them to the barrels to give a different flavor profile. This is just extra aged in a new charred oak barrel, and it works phenomenally It works. Well. I will tell you, there's one note that I hit, like it's it's got all of the, the dark, the heavy, the viscous type qualities. Mm -hmm. And then there's this one note for me that's really way up high and bright and totally, like if it's a band, they're all playing one tune, this one instrument's playing a totally different tune. Okay. But it works well. Like I'm okay. getting all these heavy, like dark notes and I get like a really bright grape sweet tart. So it's not like, you said a band playing all, and then, so it's not like one of them's out of key, it's like one of them's shredding a guitar solo yeah, on top Yeah, exactly, of right. Okay. Like, and it works well together. It's not like it's it's like, you know, a disaster. It's awesome. But it, it's noticeably, like, kind of unique. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's that's amazing. It really is. It, it, no surprise, it, it drinks like the super premium quality bourbons that we get to try occasionally. It really, really does. Yeah, this is no exception to that for sure. So do you think we'll have enough that we can do like a, uh, put that up against some of the the better whiskeys of 2023 maybe now that we're at the end of the year here? Sure. We should probably do some sort of, a, at least a video or a live stream where we'll yeah. take some of the remainder of these. Most of these have been samples and that's been a great part about it having is. this channel is people sharing whiskey with us. So Mike, thank you again. But yeah, this is a this is a whiskey of the year contender for me, mm -hmm. hands down. So there is a flavor, and this is hard to describe because there's so much sweetness, mm -hmm. but there's also quite a bit of bitterness, which at times works really well. But I, if you put this up against some of the other really nice whiskeys of the year, like it depends. I think it depends on my mood that day. Sure. There's days when I'm gonna pick this over something else, and days where I may pick something else. So. Yeah, I can see that. I think that bitterness that you're talking about, that's that really dark oak spice that I'm getting. I think it works with this because it, it's almost like Maker's Mark is such a sweet profile to begin with. Yep. Very unique profile. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, I, usually you can tell a Maker's product from other stuff. Yeah. If you know there's one in the mix, yeah. you can usually spot it. And I think it's almost kind of like the way like sweet and salty work together, like a salted caramel yep. or like, you know, like the, sure. the peanut salted nut roll or whatever, mm -hmm. where you get the, the two things that you would think normally would be competing flavors and they just work well together. Mm -hmm. I think that works here. Yeah, I kind of agree. Now I would say this, based off of memory, now this is clearly better than Maker's Mark cast strength. It's, yes. it's on a different level. Yes. But, Obviously, this is tough to get a hold of. Maker's Mark cast strength on its own, as we like said at the beginning. Like 60-ish dollars, I think. Some, no, not even that much a lot of times. Usually around 50, sometimes even 45. And it's fairly, it's not available everywhere. Yeah, but it's, I think that's just a matter of whether or not places choose to carry it or yeah. not. But that's a damn good whiskey. It really is. And if you can't get, if you've never had that before and you can't get a hold of this, at least try a Maker's cast strength. Yeah. And this will get you halfway there in age, or a little bit more than halfway there, maybe. Yep, right. But yeah, this is uh, this is amazing. I think everything works about this. The proof works, the oak spice works, that bready almond shortbread sweetness. Mm -hmm. I, I'm kind of with you on the, the grape sweet tart after you mentioned it. There is yeah. something kind of like sweet or uh, fruity candy yep. about it. All right, last sip here and then we'll kill the glass and kill this review. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, that one is, um, it's, it falls into that premium bourbon category that we've talked about. No doubt, no yeah. doubt. Yeah. There's, there is something special about this one for sure. I don't know what the exact MSRP on this is. I think it's like 150 bucks or something. I could be wrong about that, but I think that's what it I, is. I thought it was supposed to be like 120. Something like, yeah, it's yeah. something, it's but north it's, of 100, it, but it's not ridiculous. Yeah. Yep. 100% um, buy on that. Oh, absolutely. I'm paying 150 bucks for that if sure. I see it. Yeah. Now, I don't think I'm ever going to see it, but, you know, <laughs> yeah. again, the fun part about this channel is sharing whiskey with other people and then people okay, sharing sure. whiskey with us. So. Totally. All right. Well, this has been the uh, Maker's Mark Cellar Age 2023 on the Bourbon Note. I'm Ben. I'm Greg. Till next time. See you next time.